I got a shipment today. That's, uh, we're gonna unbox, I guess. Um, I haven't been feeling too great, so this is actually making me pretty happy. So, uh, let's get to opening this thing here. <laughs> uh, I know what's in it. Still really cool to finally get this going. Um, this is actually going to be filmed over a few days because, frankly, not the entire thing is here yet. Gonna need a knife. And we'll see whether or not it's, whether or not we got this. So I'm gonna set this here. If you're wondering what happened to my arm, I, I'm not gonna tell you because it's terrible. So let's start with this. This is a motherboard. This is a Z170 Deluxe from uh, Asus. This is pretty fucking top of the line. <laughs> it's that in packaging. This is gonna be a hell of a thing. Um, here we have something from New Egg. Uh, it's also in a box. I'm going to need to. Uh, this too. And what we have here is a drive. And this is actually a Seagate desktop SSHD, uh, solid state hard drive hybrid, one terabyte. Really cool stuff. We have this. This is an RM850. Um, power supply from Corsair. This is going to be what's powering my device. It's fairly powerful. Pretty cool. I am pretty happy about having this now. So this is another thing from Corsair. This is actually a uh, H110i GT water cooling system uh, for my CPU. We're actually going to move the camera phone a little bit further back so that you can see the table better. And the rest of my room, I guess. Okay. <sighs> Fuck, this arm hurts. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, the tech savvy amongst you will know what this is. These are. Corsair Vengeance DDR4. Normally that would not be necessary for um, your gaming computer, but I do a lot of editing and I am really finding some slowdown in editing on a 8 gigabyte uh, board PC. So I'd like to have some extra RAM for some uh, These Vengeances are really fun. This has to be done in one shot, unfortunately, so if I look dumb doing this, I'm going to be sad. Anyway, so this is an Intel Solid State Drive 750 series. Um, this is actually a PCIe uh, ported uh, hard drive. It's SSD, sorry, not a hard drive, Solid State Drive. And this is going to be super fucking fast um, once it's plugged directly into the motherboard. It's gonna be fun. I am still waiting on, let's see. Uh, if you guys are keeping track, you would know. I'm still waiting on the processor, the, uh, and the uh, video card. And once I have that, we're all set. So today, the CPU arrived. Uh, these, this is sold out everywhere, I had to go import it actually. So we're gonna open this very carefully. Uh, I'm gonna get too close. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> so this is a i7 core unlock. Yeah, this is 
is gonna be fun. Okay. So what I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually assemble the motherboard today. So what are you doing, Deku? Um, I am filming hell because apparently I have a 280 millimeter uh, radiator. This is my new Master Case Pro. The top radiator mount does not support 280, so I've got to go for a front install, which is fine. I don't mind it. It's just it's so much easier to do a top mount. Here's my motherboard fully assembled. Here's my power supply. And we're going with uh, the Phoenix uh, uh, Spectre Pro blue LEDs for the front. Might buy some more of these for the top, which is going to be hilarious because there's no radiator on top. Also, the AMD graphics card that I'm buying is also going to have a radiator, so what I think I'm going to do for that is back mount it, take out this fan here. So here we are, this is sort of the moment of truth. I'm going to power on the system and see what happens. Ah, uh, but first I'm going to take a look at what our possible codes are going to be on the motherboard uh, for air, air troubleshooting and all that. Yeah, that'll be a good idea. Yeah, I've got our list of possible codes that we're going to have to look through. Uh, I think it's going to be turned to it's off right now, I think, so to be on position. That's a sign. Uh-oh. I hope that's not a bad sign. I think it's on standby, though. Okay. And then if I Turn it on. I hear the liquid going. That's a start. Corsair is on. The AMD Radium is on. Let's get this monitor actually running. I hope to God this is okay. So if you can't tell from the lighting, this is quite a bit later. But I think I figured out the problem. Let me use the lighting. And the postcodes are actually going down underneath there. So let's wait for that monitor. Come on. Postcodes are still going. The lights are going. It's in the 80s somewhere, it looks like. Mm. Uh, 90s. Come on, 99. Looks like it's still going. So that seems promise. There it goes. Okay, it posted. Sorry about that hiccup. I uh, ran out of memory uh, on my phone. Um, but anyway, I will continue this video uh, once this is all finished for our final thoughts and all that, and explain what I did. So uh, yeah, this is working, thank god. Hey, so I'm done, sort of. This is my case. Um, these are all the lights I'm probably gonna do for now. I might do more later. Uh, there are two Phoenix fans on top. Exhausting air out the top of the case. There is one here that is not screwed onto the radiator yet. It should be when I'm done with it, but I'm... It, <laughs> The screws that I have are not long enough, I am sorry to say, so I will be making a trip to um, Ace Hardware for longer ones of these that will screw through the fan and into the radiator. So I need about a good inch and a quarter, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I will do the measurements later. Um, uh, 
front are Spectre Pros to push air through the radiator into this fan which pushes it out into the case and then it hits exhaust exhaust. That's the idea. So it's a mostly positive air pressure flow with um, some hints of negative in there. It's, it's a, kind of a diverse idea. Um, what's actually in here, we've got a one terabyte uh, SDHD from, um, I believe it was Seagate. Yeah. That there is an Intel 7, 8, uh, 750, I think, series SSD. It's a PCIe one, really fucking fast. That's a AMD Radeon R9 Fury X, which has been super quiet, so they seem to have fixed the coil noise, coil whine complaints that people have been complaining about. Very quiet. If you're hearing stuff in the background, that's actually my wash and my AC, not the computer. The case is quiet as shit. <laughs> um, that's the radiator fan for the uh, R9. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't mount it on the front because I have a big radiator there. Uh, Corsair radiator is um, again on the front, but the pump is right there. This is a uh, H110 GT, I think. Yeah. And then the processor is an i7 6700K. Uh, motherboard is a Asus uh, Z170 Deluxe. And uh, I'm using. You can't see it really well because they're dark, but th that's four sticks of RAM, uh, four gigs each, so about 16 total. And yeah, that's my rig right now. So, this is the final resting home for this tower. Lights on the top, lights on the side, and the lighting inside the case. And this fan, like I mentioned, will be moved over as soon as I get the screw for it. Um, looks pretty nice though, I have to actually say. Pretty happy with it. Um, these are my monitors set up. This one is running at 1080p even though it's capable of a higher resolution. Still 60 FPS. The reason why I'm running it at 1080p is because having them both running at their max resolutions um, was actually causing my graphics card to uh, cause um, uh, artifacts on the screen and I was not happy about that so lower the resolution less things to render that's it works better you can see the temperature of the graphics card is a good 30 degrees Celsius um, without um, this is on idle, which it's not high, it's not wonderful, but I mean it's Hawaii, it's like 80 degrees here anyway. Um, the CPU temperatures are also idling around 30, and everything's overclocked anyway, so um, hopefully nothing goes wrong anything this this monitor on the right is gonna cause me some issues eventually anyway yeah so I hope you enjoy hey so I want to thank everyone who stuck around to the end this long into the video or skipped ahead here like a sane person would maybe um, this was fun a lot of fun but very stressful uh, also forgive me for how I'm holding myself right now um, I appear to have hurt my back in a uh, fall the other day. That, that was cool. Um, so my, my entire back is in pain. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna really quickly say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a list of parts will be displayed here. And uh, if you want, there's a uh, like, comment, subscribe stuff here and whatever and uh, for some thoughts of what I would do differently you could uh, click right here and there will be like a annotation to take you to my final thoughts um, on my blog because I actually have one of those things that I 
update maybe once in a blue moon. I still don't know how to finish a video, so I will see you all later. Bye.